So we're here at uh, the Crowd Dialogue uh, conference in, uh, in, in Helsinki, uh, at the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah. And uh, near me is, is, is Andreas from, uh, from Swisscom, so welcome. Thank you very much for the invite. And when I heard Swisscom, I think, okay, that's telephone, but you're here from a crowdfunding perspective. So, so that is correct. what happened? What happened? What happened is um, basically, so, so Andreas Pages, uh, Swisscom, is, as you mentioned correctly, I'm, I'm with Swisscom Enterprise customers. And within enterprise, I'm, I'm uh, within banking. So that explains a little bit. So basically, Swisscom, Swisscom has, has, has two sides. The one side is with residential customers, so like you know, mobile phone contracts and all these kind of things, you know, and TV. And the second part is we are working very closely with, with enterprise customers. So it could be small, medium-sized customers, could be startups, but could be up to banks as well. And uh, that, is, that is actually um, um, where I'm right in now. And in particular, banks are interested because crowdfunding is part of uh, fintech, mm -hmm. and uh, they're interested how this is moving, how they can make uh, something, uh, you know, how to get the, how to, they get a foot basically into the market, how they can use crowdfunding for themselves. Um, and it's not about uh, only crowdfunding, but it's also P2P payment, for example. Yeah. It's also part of it. Yeah. And, so, and, and so, so uh, uh, what you're going to talk about and not, not, not speak about to other people today is, is, is about you also uh, enabling your customers to start crowdfunding platforms by uh, yes. empowering them uh, by uh, sharing the, uh, the, the software. So, so what are you doing? There? Absolutely. So, so what, what we did actually is and what, what we do is we, we provide first of all the software. Is, uh, we provide it as, as a service, software as a service, so, so you can rent it basically. Enterprise customer can rent it. We have it white labeled, so there's no Swisscom logo or something on it. We, we brand it particular to the customer needs. And then the customer can decide if they want to go into crowdfunding, because crowdfunding has, has various aspects, as you, as you very good know. It's like uh, they can decide if they want to start a reward-based platform or sponsoring, if they want to start a donation platform, or if they want to start go into lending, for example. Uh, equity is also a case. But um, yeah, exactly. So the, these, these four aspects is uh, from a technical perspective. And the second perspective we provide is actually, um, we see ourselves as enabler. Because in Switzerland, it's, uh, it's like uh, compared to, to, to Finland, compared to other European countries, uh, Austria, UK, France, and so on, we are probably two to four years behind. We don't have a regulation. We don't have crowdfunded regulated as of yet. We uh, banking law applies. We uh, we just started this year in 2015 that we have uh, now over I think over 30 platforms in Switzerland. Last year we had less than 10. So it just we're just on the on the edge basically just just on the start yeah and 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 what you're doing you're also lowering the, 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 the threshold for your customers to start exactly but uh, do you think the growth of the amount of platforms you said okay from 10 to 30 but you want more uh, it's 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 not, not a really big country so Correct. is it good to have so many platforms and also when you look at the revenue model of all platforms can they all survive because in the Netherlands there are I think about 80 platforms and I think maybe two or three are not in the red numbers. Uh, yeah. uh, so, why do you want this growth? The growth is, um, but you're right. It, it, this, it, the picture is very similar in Switzerland as in, uh, I guess, every other country. Uh, most of them are non, non. They're making not profit at, at the moment. But it's, it is about the topic itself, so that people realize what crowd, crowdfunding actually can do. What is the potential? And I see, for example, a big potential within the small and medium-sized financing. So that is, that is where I say, look, um, if that can actually really change if from the perspective of a small and medium-sized company, but also from the perspective of the, of, the, of the banks, but also from private persons, how you can directly invest now in a small and medium-sized company, you can participate in the growth, and also the, 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 the company actually can, can uh, find customers yeah. on a different way. And that is where I see the potential. Reward-based is, uh, obviously, the market is limited in Switzerland. Um, but, but with the lending, that is, that is a huge potential for me. And also another aspect I see is like we have a, a lot of startups actually, uh, Swiss startups, they get financed outside of Switzerland. So they find the, they find the, the money basically in, in, in the US, most of the time in the US, but also in Germany. This is the startup side. 
and also the investor side, Swiss people tend to invest on foreign platforms, which is very interesting because either it means to me we have uh, we have not the right uh, the right uh, let's say projects on the platform, or we have uh, we have less platforms. I don't know the market is not ready, or the the third way could be um, it is because of our regulations. Yeah, yeah. So you, so it's also a way to 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 keep the money Correct. in the country and also Correct. make sure that, that that investors will invest in startups uh, in Switzerland and not uh, uh, somewhere else. I think it's really smart. And, and also when you look at the the, the business side, because this costs a, a, a lot of money, your salary, salary has to be paid, I guess. Okay. So at what way are you going to make money? Is it really a, a experiment and an enabler uh, uh, to make crowdfunding uh, well known in the country and also to, to build the brand of Syscom? Or is there also a, a business case on this project too? It's both. It's both. So enabler, that is one thing. Um, yeah, enabling company uh, companies. Uh, but the second thing is, uh, I have a business case. That is true. So if, if I work with banks, if I, if I basically provide the, the software, software as a service, we have the revenue share. So that is a business case. Yeah. So okay. that that so is uh, uh, that is uh, the second part. Yeah. Obviously. Also really important. Many many people, especially Absolutely. from from corporate innovation, uh, forget this part. So that's. And uh, so, you're, so, so with, with Swisscom, you're, uh, uh, there are several projects uh, where you're joining the crowd. Uh, also, Swisscom Friends, I heard uh, from a friend yes, of mine. Yes, correct. Uh, can you share some information about that? Swisscom Friends basically is, is a very interesting concept in, in, the, in the crowdsourcing area. So what we actually do is we, we work together with another startup, which is called Mila. And uh, we do this also in other areas. But uh, basically what we do is like we enable our customers to help our customers by providing technical support. So as of now, you have the chance if you have, uh, I don't know, you have, if you bought a new phone or something is broken or you want to install your, your TV box, uh, you can call a professional Swisscom employee, which costs you money, you need to set up a time, but it, it's, uh, it's usually, it's professional, it's highly professional, and it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of flexible because you're working hours and so on. The new concept is actually, we, we enable our customers helping other customers. And they actually get money for it. So it's not us, it's our customers. So it's like, it could be a neighbor, which is, which is very, uh, very good with, with, with the technology. By the way, they're also uh, um, um, Swisscom friends approved by us. So the kind of uh, training they receive as well. So because we need to make sure that the quality obviously is, is, is correct. You also have the opportunity to give feedback online, mm -hmm. right, about the service and everything. So, but it's, we are we at the beginning of it. We just launched it last year. Right now, we have uh, roughly 1,000 members which are registered, which actually provide the service. Interestingly, we have uh, more registered members in the German-speaking part than the French-speaking part. I don't know why it is, but it's, it's an interesting fact. Uh, we are working on that. But it's, uh, again, it's, it's for us really, we are also using this this part crowdsourcing crowdfunding also to to experiment and, and use it ourselves right a little bit yeah. Get, getting experience how we can use it what is how we could benefit from it right in the future yeah and yesterday I was in in Estonia uh, I had some interviews about uh, the e-residents and Estonia they're really busy uh, about uh, they, uh, we also talked about the question okay what is your country and they were also busy running a country uh, as a platform correct I think what you are doing is is is, is asking the same question what is a bank and can we as a bank, uh, can we tra uh, transform a bank into a platform where we enable others to create value? Is everything is right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's partially, it's more like we are, we, yeah, you're right, we're working very closely with a bank. So it's not like it, we are developing something and then go to a bank and say, look, this, that's it, that's, that's how it's done. It's more like we're working very closely with, with a bank and, and look at the facts, how it's done right now and adapt it to, to the banking needs. For example, you have uh, different regulations, you have different compliance, you have rulings, reportings, all these kind of things. The payment, for example, is also very tricky, especially if you look uh, abroad. So um, these kind of things we adapt then, especially for the banks. And how do you manage to make this happen? Because uh, I talk to quite some corporate organizations uh, all over the world, and the, the biggest challenge is not to, uh, to think about new ideas or to make new products, but how to get them into the daily routine of the organization. So, Very good point. So what's your secret and also what are your lessons? <laughs> it's more like a lesson and, and uh, what I always, um, 
tell our customers or my customers is like you need to treat a graph as if it's crowdfunding or another product. Uh, it is a product. You need to realize this is a product called a banking product, but you need to have a product manager. You need to have the right communication strategy. You need to have the right customer. So who is your customer? I mean, I'm always telling them uh, on the bank, look, if you look at all the other platforms, they started from scratch, zero customer. You as a bank, you have hundreds of thousands of customers already. So you have an advantage actually. And, uh, but the question now is how to use it. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is something we discuss and, and uh, this is a case by case actually. Because every bank has a, has a different approach, every bank has a different focus. And uh, even crowdfunding is it's not so easy because you know it's, it's very complex. We are still at the beginning, so the market is, is developing. Uh, so, yeah. yeah and, 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 uh, but, but you are using your name, so there are all people uh, passing by and also events, as you can see. Um, I almost forgot my question. Um, using your name, you said? Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, uh, but you're really using your name and by that also your, your reputation yes. to these innovations. Uh, uh, there are also organizations that uh, they, they decide, okay, we're going to invest in startups or we're going to do projects, but in our company, so when something goes bad, uh, our name uh, isn't being uh, ruined. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you uh, decide to, to uh, because it's Swisscom also from original, a really innovative company? Innovation. If it comes to innovation, you also speak about reputation, right? So that is that is always like, uh, what if if it goes everything goes wrong, right? So what happens? So so we need to make sure in this part that uh, um, that we that we apply with with uh, with uh, with experience. Basically, it's, it's based on experience, but also um, yeah, it, especially in the banking industry, you need to you just need to adapt to regulations. And you need to be very careful and very clear what you offer and what you not offer. So that is something we, we always make very clear in terms of uh, communication, for example, in terms of payment. So we, we always say, uh, look, Swisscom, uh, if you provide this platform, but the money actually never goes via Swisscom so or through Swisscom. Because uh, this is very important because otherwise we, 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 we would also have a challenge in terms of regulations. So we always uh, we make this very, very clear. Yeah. And uh, but you, but you're right. It's it's a, it's a big topic, especially with banks. So what what is if if a, if a company we invested in or our customers invested in goes bust? Yeah, but I think what a good thing is is that it is that it also forces you to take your responsibility for new initiatives. Uh, and talking about that, because uh, the, the 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 crowdfunding and creative economy market is growing really fast, and many platforms are are are, are arriving. You really have to be really clear uh, 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 in your message because you got the brand of Fiscom behind you. There are also quite some new platforms who are not that clear and also not clear about the customers. So they have no idea what they're buying or what they're investing in. So at what way do you look from your perspective to these developments? Uh, are you worried? Things will go wrong. They will go wrong. Obviously, this is this is part of a, of a, of the whole crowdfunding movement. And, and if you invest in, in companies, obviously, uh, yeah. There is something. But what we do, for example, is like um, we have we have one big challenge um, in terms of regulations. So, and what we do right now actively is where I'm also using the Swisscom brand because Swisscom brand is very powerful in Switzerland. Um, we try to to change this. So, in terms that we say, look, crowdfunding is is a, we are really at the beginning in Switzerland. But if you look at the other countries could become very big and could become very useful and what we try now to do is uh, to, to regulate it at least that we uh, that we can have real crowdfunding because at the moment in Switzerland it's not really possible we say for example investing is limited up to 20 investors mm -hmm. 20 okay 20 that's, that's two zero for, for the crowd <laughs> exactly it's not really a crowd <laughs> but uh, but that is that is one challenging thing because it, you can have more investors but as soon as you have it you will be regulated yeah but what you're doing you're taking the lead in the uh, discussions about regulation Correct. and it will also force other platforms also to join the same regulations so in the end the quality will be at the level that you want to have it. Exactly, but other platforms are actually with us. So they say that's actually a good thing because we have exactly the same challenge. So for us it's really like we say look, um, yeah, it's, it's a kind of uh, even banks supporting us. So it's like uh, we're saying um, 
this, this can actually be changed. It can be, it can be an exceptional rule for crowdfunding, which ha helps all of us. It does not threaten uh, the current existing platforms. Yeah, and, 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 and you say, okay, uh, this project also is a business case, yes. so yes. it also got some goals uh, where you want to go to. So yes. what are your goals? And, and, where is, and where are you standing right now? It's, uh, right now, we are, we are at the stage that we have, a, we just started a year ago, right? We also collaborated with, with another platform in Switzerland, which we uh, bought the software from. So time to market was important for us as well. And we said, we don't need to invent the whole wheel again. We just uh, take this, what it is. It was a reward platform. Uh, one of the biggest, actually, is we, we make it in Switzerland. And uh, we developed from then onwards our own software. So, and we extended for the lending part. We will also just extended it for the, for the donation part and equity would be the next. So um, the business plan is, is a long term, so like five years, because right now it's investing. But as I said, we have a revenue share, so in the future that is a business. From the revenues, we hope that all things go well and, and we have some platforms and, and uh, we, are, we, are, we are in the lead, that we are, yeah, then we have the revenue share. Yeah, okay, sounds really exciting. So I wish you all the best and thanks for the interview. Thank you very much, thank you.